future me coming in just to um brief you guys uh, on the pre-flight the local temperature is 19 degrees with minimal winds and lots of um fog coverage the um the drone did reach high altitudes but we were not flying in any restricted airspace throughout the entirety of the video please do not try this at home thank you and enjoy the video Hey guys, welcome to the video. So today we're going to be taking our DJI Mini 2 drone to altitude um, of uh, roughly 1,200 feet. Um, so I'm going to be ascending practically straight vertical in sport mode for most of the way. Uh, so we ascend at about 11 miles an hour. And in post-production, I have it sped up um, 125%. So um, not double, just, um, just a little faster to increase the speed since it was a little boring and tedious just flying up there but uh it's a really foggy day if, as you saw on the ground uh, if not i'll put a picture on screen but the fog starts at about 350 feet and it densens denses up um uh, quite a bit once you get to about 550 600 feet you cannot even see the ground so at this point i am flying blind and i highly recommend you do not do that because that was actually the scariest part of the trip is not being able to see where I was going so I decided looking at the ground was a lost cause and I angled the camera all the way up as I was approaching a thousand feet I could see the clearing and I was getting really excited actually to get up there I didn't know how high this drone was going to go before the lift would just not be um there anymore but we get above there and I'm breathtaking like this is a $600 drone um and it's actually only $500 if you get the regular version but the fly more combo of course is another hundred dollars and i do recommend it anyway i'm just spinning around and i see the sun right and i am just i'm stunned um i actually have to go up two more times um in this same day just still look at it more i was so breathtaking taken away and you know you look down you can't see the ground you feel it looks like you're in an airplane when you're looking through this camera and it's it's crazy i'll put a picture of inside of an airplane like looking out it looks super similar so that's kind of where i was the vibe i was getting up there as you can see my battery um still pretty high you know i got 10 minutes left of flight so i'm gonna stay up there for quite a bit i got that strong wind warning but um my drone was not moving horizontally at all which um, was what i was worried about with the jet stream if you look at how the clouds are moving um it looked like it was actually calmed down this was my second take of three but this one definitely looked the best it looked like it calmed down a little bit but you can see them clouds moving pretty fast so this drone has really good wind tolerance um i'm pretty impressed with that and i'm going to put the version that doesn't have anything on screen it's just going to be the pure camera version after this segment so um if you want i will have that on there but Anyway, we're connected to 26 satellites right now, and our flight time has now increased to 12 minutes since it must have been less wind resistance, which is good. It's going to bounce around quite a bit, but I'm getting one of my favorite shots now. Zoomed in a little bit, and the auto exposure really took that uh, sun, made it look really nice with the the fading. Um, and as you see, our altitude's not changing much. We're only three feet over from where we originally took off. Ultimately, it was just a really nice flight, and the drone handled extremely well. But I decided I was going to pan down now, and now I decided I wanted another look. We went back up. I think I do this a few times because I just cannot get enough of this view, but I'm going to pan down for my descent because I want to be able to see where I am relative to the ground right away instead of having to um, kind of pan my camera down once I get below altitude. I want to keep it up until I lose sight of the sun, and then I'm just going to pan it down. And um, As you can see, I have it in normal mode now for my descent, because uh, I found when you descend any, well, when you descend in sport mode, um, the, the drone can be a little shaky, um, so to maintain the highest control possible, I kept it in normal mode for my descent, but my camera's going to be down at 90 degrees, so I can see the ground first thing. Um, so I know exactly where I'm going. I can start to see it come through now at about 560 feet. And so I know kind of where I am um, relative. Looks like I'm actually over pretty far. Um, 
I'm about eight feet over now because as I said when I descend my drone shakes a little bit and it does tend to move over then and there's a little breeze coming through at the time so uh, since we're about 18 feet over I make sure my camera's all ready to go and I just begin to uh, counteract it um, I think I actually know I, I don't I thought I had returned to home on but um, so I'm just gonna counteract it now coming back I'm going to hand catch this drone because my landing pad was in the garage and I didn't want to go get it. So um, you can see me standing under there, ready to catch it. Uh, I'm not really good with catching drones. I always feel like I'm going to drop it and then it's going to break. But there's my cringy face, ready to catch the drone. Put my hand under it and it shoots back up into the air. I land it. It's time for the range test, and um, I actually just split second decided to add it into this video. Um, so we're going to be going out straight east um, for, looks like, quite a while, about a thousand feet. Looks like we get to 919, looks like the furthest, and I start to do just kind of like a half circle around my house, and if you can see down there, there's like a creek bed. I was actually going to try to land in this field, but... Or, well, I guess it was a clearing, not really a field, but I was going to actually once explore that. Totally forgot to after the video, so it's going to be something I have to do later. But I changed my return to home altitude to make sure if I lost connection that well, it wouldn't hit a tree. And it's probably smart because I did almost lose connection once. And so, yeah, I um, flew around my creek bed. I got about 2,000 feet away, which is about a half mile or so. Switched my map view to make sure I was getting back in the right path because I did get lost and uh, that was a little scary. So the camera quality gets a little sketchy here for a minute, but we fixed it up pretty well. Fly over to my neighbor's house to get a good look at their silo because I've always wanted to go to the top and um, never really have. So figured I would do it with the drone. Got to the top of their silo and was going to look at all their snowmobile tracks around their clothesline before I decided to head home as I was losing connection and the battery was beginning to drop. And instead of do some low flying and was just fixing my camera gimbal because it looked like it was turned a little bit um that seemed to change actually the like uh color of the entire video altogether but didn't seem to matter too much i was gonna land actually on this little pad right here uh decided uh, not to chickened out and was flying under these wires before i saw these ropes hanging down that i had to maneuver flew over the sheep a little bit and now it was time for landing um, I was going to hand catch this drone for the hell of it, and there I am, ready to catch this drone, looking all cringy and whatnot. I pan my camera down Landed. and catch it in my hand. So I'm just going to put pictures that I took from altitude kind of in the background when I talk about the flight and stuff. So um, I actually thought that the um, altitude was much greater than I w what I was going to get. Um, now this is the edited version of that same picture. Anyhow, um... I got a lot higher than I thought I was going to, and the range was really good when I was going over the woods. When I went to my neighbor's house and was actually on the other side of a lot of different uh, wires and power lines, the connection got a little choppy, but overall, it was a great, great drone, um, a great flight. 10 out of 10, recommend buying it, and now for the flight stats. Thanks for watching. Peace out.